What does digital transformation mean to you? Hi everybody, my name is Greg Crable and this is my daily podcast, Something I Learned Yesterday, in which I take one topic from the world of publishing and try to explain it in three or four minutes. My recent LinkedIn connection, David Jansen, turned me on to theaudiencers.com, which looks like a fantastic website for people in the media and publishing space. I was intrigued by an article titled, <clears throat> The Five R's of Digital Transformation, How Ringier is Shaping the Long-Term Success of Its Media Titles. The article is by Madeline White, and I'm going to review it today. Right off the bat, I have to disagree with part of this article. It says, growth is all about the funnel, and then shows an image of the funnel, which implies that every contact goes through the same journey towards a single goal, such as a subscription. I don't think that's right, and I, I think Madeline would probably agree with me on this. I think it's possible to have branching funnels with different goals. For example, you could recognize that part of your audience will never subscribe, so you put them in an advertising funnel and treat them very differently than people with a propensity to subscribe who you put in a subscription funnel. That's, maybe that's a ticky point, but I think it's important. Don't try to fit everybody into the same customer journey. Now, the basic concept of moving people through a funnel is sound. I just don't like limiting it to one funnel. Now, I have a bias towards models, checklists, frameworks, acronyms, that sort of thing. They help organize your thoughts. So I was drawn to the five R's of digital transformation, which are relevance, reputation, reach, revenue, and resilience. Now, relevance, that's a good one, although I would add valuable. An article might be relevant to me in some generic sense, but not help me in any way. Reputation, of course, is very important. I want reliable information. Reach isn't my favorite concept for media companies. I have a separate podcast on that, which I'll link below. Revenue is, of course, crucial for the publisher. And resilience is framed in this article as diverse revenue streams, which is very important. Publishers need to try to not be overly dependent on any given stream or a platform. Now, Ringier takes a cross-functional approach to these topics with people from advertising, editorial, business development, audience development, product, tech, and digital user market. That's fantastic. And I would love to see some stories about how they get all these groups to work together effectively. Once again, that's something I've covered before. I'll put a link below. What I was hoping to see in this article was something about what digital transformation really means to them. For some, digital transformation means moving from print to digital, which I think is the wrong way to look at it. Rather, digital transformation should mean, how do we effectively serve people digitally? Too often I see digital transformation as not much more than antipathy to print, which is wrongheaded. Print is a smaller piece of the puzzle and maybe continually smaller, but still an important piece of the puzzle. There are situations where print is better and there are situations where digital is better. Anyway, this is my first foray into theaudiencers.com. I'm really looking forward to keeping an eye on this site. I hope today's commentary was helpful to you. If it was, if it was please uh, give me a comment, send me a note, visit my website, and thanks so much for listening. <music>